it's a lake that's 45 minutes from a huge population, so we get a lot of people that are able to come out here all during the entire week. They'll blow out of work a couple hours early. Very popular lake for surfing and wakeboarding. These people that leave their boats out here, they've got houseboats, big, you know, big cruisers and things like that, and they'll spend the weekend out here. When we started this project, we, we knew that we were getting into a project that had no utilities to it. So we've had, we are 100% off the grid and always have been. We've been running generators out here for the whole time. The lake has been here for a long time and there's never been utility service to the lake. So the, the issue that was brought to us was the cost of diesel fuel. So they were running and like going through generators once every seven to ten years, um, burning diesel every single day. Started to come into the lake kind of every Thursday with a group of friends and I slowly got to know the owner, Brian Church. He had been looking into renewable energy for about two years previous to that and then in a pair of flip-flops and board shorts we penned the deal and then we got started on building and designing the project. Partnered with CAT pretty early on to design the microgrid system. So it first starts out with the solar, uh, approximately 400 kW in solar panels mounted on the uh, floating docks for the boats that, that they provide shade to the boats. That power comes up and lands on a uh, combiner panel. That combiner panel is fed from, from a battery system, it provides 1500 kilowatt hours of batteries. And then there is a tier four final diesel gen set uh, also connected to the system as a backup. The option for solar was a great solution, but then the sun only shines during the day and the lake has things going on overnight. And so uh, that's when we, we offered the option of the batteries to extend the benefit of the solar past the sunlight hours. And then the microgrid controller is the brains of the operation. It tells the generator when to turn on and off and it parallels the sine wave and the batteries to run with the generator to charge the batteries. It's quite a complex system, but really it's a big battery box that provides battery to the lake. Empire supports and maintains all of those systems here locally to make sure that they have power when they need it. With the microgrid in place, that's a gigantic savings right there. Not only does it save us diesel fuel, which is wonder, you know, again, great for the environment, great for costs, it's gonna be extremely beneficial.